jackets, girls. Here you go, baby. I know we're just waiting on your father. Hey, Aunt Mom, do you think Dad is going to take us to the arcade? Did he say he was going to take you guys there? Yeah. He said we were going to play games and get shakes. I hope he does, and I hope y'all have fun. I don't want to go. I tell you, we already talked about this. Look, you're going to have fun. Just stay right beside your sister for the night. I want to stay here with you. Not tonight, my love. Mommy just needs one evening to herself. That's all. And I'll come pick you up first thing in the morning. Is that okay? Are you going out? Is that why you're dressed all pretty? Don't worry about what I got going on, Jasmine. But thank you for calling me pretty. Why are you dressed like that? So I packed the girls' book bags. You should have everything you need. I will come pick them up in the morning. So make sure your mom knows. Hey, baby, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey. Woman, did you hear what I asked you? Why are you dressed like that? These are just my clothes for tonight. That's it. Um, so you ready to take them? Not with you dressed like that. Where you think you're going? I have plans tonight, which is none of your business. Mm -hmm. Because the girls, Oh, your business. Oh, yeah? Woman, who you think you talking to like that? You ain't going nowhere. You gonna think you can dump me off on a girl so you can just go be with some other dude? You think you can go be with some other dude? You mine. You mine forever. Don't touch her. Mommy. Girls, go upstairs. You're gonna stay home. Just, just go get ready for bed, please. Just go. Mom, it's okay, baby. Just go. You think you can go be with some other dude? You mine, you mine forever. Let go of me. Do you you don't understand? own me. You're mine. And you're not gonna be seeing no other guys. Instead, you need to be focused on raising them girls. I'm not yours. And I haven't been how many years, Noah? You don't even help with the girls. You spend all your money on booze and cigarettes. You are just like your father. Shut up! I told you to stop talking to me like that! You know I don't like doing this to you. Why you keep playing with me? Why you test me like that? You better not. I ain't playing with you. You know what? You better get rid of them. You better get rid of them, and I mean that. Oh, Dan, what are you doing here? Seriously? We had a date tonight, and you're not answering your phone. Hey, are you okay? Looks like you've been crying. I'm sorry, I wasted your time. You can't be here. What? No. Why? Just get back, get back. Mr. Cortez, why are you here? I'm here for my date. Why are you here, Noah? This is my children's mother. It ain't gonna be none of that date going on, so I suggest you get in your car and leave. I I'm confused. You two know each other? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the parole officer for one of Noah's friends, and my brother is Noah's parole officer. Oh, I did not know that. Of course you didn't know that. You ain't nothing but an idiot. Get in this Ooh. house. Hey! Don't talk to her like that. Hey, this ain't none of your business, so mind it. Aaliyah, did he hurt you? Because I'll call my brother and have him taken away. I thought I told you to leave now. 
This ain't none of your business. She is my business, and I'm not leaving till I know she's okay. our lives. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's not your fault. He shouldn't have hurt you, especially in front of the girl. Thank you for standing up for me. I am truly, I, I truly appreciate you. And I'm sorry, our day was ruined. Tell you what. Let me stay over with you so we can watch a movie together. I'll cook and I'll clean up for you. I just want to stay to make sure that you are right. Make sure he don't come back. I would love that. Thank you. No problem. I want to be here for all of you, especially the girls. I will be here whatever you all need, regardless of what happens between us. Thank you, Daniel. You are an amazing man. And I'm so sorry you even had to have all this drama on our first day. Hey. Don't mention it. You go check on the girls. And I go cook dinner. doing here? Long time, Noah. When did you get out? Man, what do you care? Where's Aaliyah? She's resting and doesn't need to be stressed out. So you have to go. Man, I'm here to see my family. Hey, there goes my baby. Dad, you forgot to take your turn. I'm coming, sweetie. What? Adelia, I'm your father, not him. You're not my dad. So you gonna turn my kids against me? Where's Aaliyah and I ain't gonna ask you again? The kids made the decision for themselves. Like I said, my wife is resting and doesn't need to be stressed out. Noel, you gotta go. Wife? So you gonna take my woman from me? She's not your possession. And be mindful of what you say about my wife. Look, man, look. I just got released. I don't have no money. I don't have no food. I don't have no place to stay. I need to talk to Aaliyah now. What do you want, Noah? So you gonna get pregnant by this clown? My husband is not a clown. And if it's a joke, it's you. I just got released, all right? I need help. I want to be a family again. I miss the girls. I they don't even want to see you, Noah. You have made your bed, so you're going to have to lay in it. You hurt us and put us through too much pain. So you're going to let me die out here? Aaliyah, I've changed. Please give me another chance. I just need another chance. We, we are tired of giving you chance after chance, Noah. You need to clean up your life now for yourself. And I don't even know how to help you anymore. Baby, I'm getting ready to just go lay back down. Okay. 
there's a halfway house a couple miles down the road. Just tell them Daniel sent you. They'll give you a room and get you started on the job. Why are you helping me, man? If you're serious about changing your life, you should. No little girl should be afraid of their father. Listen, man, I wasn't always like this. I don't know how I let it get this bad. Keep the bottle out your hands, man. It's okay to fall, but you gotta get back up. We're about to finish without you. Take my advice, Noah. Go to the halfway house. You won't regret it. Man, look, I thank you so much for looking out for him, and I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna get out of y'all's hair now. Take care, man. Hey, you too. Take care, man. The moral of the story is, you have the power to stop your trauma and change the way your life is lived. Your trauma does not define you or where you're going. Remember there are people in the world who will love you the way you deserve. Never settle for less. <laughs>